Protests are underway around the world to mark International Women's Day with activists calling for equality and better pay. CBS's Ian Lee reports from London. A rally cry for equal rights rages in the Philippines. It's a time of crisis for protesters with unemployment and violence against women on the rise. Calling for uh, higher wages, calling for decent work, calling for free and accessible public support services. The fight for gender equality echoing around the world on International Women's Day. In Sri Lanka, women demand more help from rising inflation. While in France, many want the government to keep their hands off their retirement. And when it comes to governing, the president of Europe's central bank says women have an advantage. Forgive me. Fewer testosterones, smaller ego. That helps. Many global protests also called for solidarity with women in Iran and Afghanistan, where freedoms took a blow last year. A brave few took to the streets of Kabul as the Taliban continues to strip millions of women of their rights, like access to education and health care. In Afghanistan, women and girls have been erased from public life. The UN calls Afghanistan the most repressive country in the world for women, possibly amounting to crimes against humanity. Hafiza never wanted to work behind a sewing machine in a factory. She was studying law. <laughs> Fighting back tears, she says, we all live like prisoners. We feel like we're caught in a cage. Now she's hoping, like so many women around the world, that one day, she can break free. Ian Lee, CBS News, London.